So, let us solve one more problem. So, but it will be different from the previous problems. For in this problem actually, so let us first the go through the question first here. At any point t on the curve x is equal to a times t plus sin t, y is equal to a times 1 minus cos t. Find the lengths of the tangent normal, subtangent and subnormal. That means here the four formulae are to be applied. Length of the tangent, length of the normal, length of the sub, subtangent and length of the subnormal. So, that means the very simple plan let me explain in just few seconds itself only. The first we need to find out dy by dx in terms of t that is a parametric differentiation. So, the dy by dx itself only in terms of t is considered as m, the where as y1 stands for the a of 1 minus cos t. So, with the help of this dy by dx at t and y is equal to a times 1 minus cos t, all the lengths can be evaluated. So, this is the process, but before going to that one, the first step is we have to differentiate these two values parametric equations that means parametric differentiation we have to perform. So, first let us perform the parametric differentiation. Given x is equal to a times t plus sin t. differentiate both sides with respect to parameter t that is t not x. So, we get here dx by dt dx by dt. So, a times derivative of t with respect to t. So, that is 1 plus derivative of sin t with respect to t the cos t. So, now this 1 plus cos t can be written as a in sub multiple notation. So, that means 1 plus cos t can be modified or changed as this is a times 2 cos square t by 2. This is nothing but 2 a cos square t by 2. Okay. Now, consider this one y is equal to a times 1 minus cos t. So, here also given that is y is equal to a times 1 minus cos t. Say this equation 1 better for our convenience say 2. Now, again differentiate both sides with respect to t. Now, what do you get it? You expect it. So, dy by dt is equal to a times derivative of 1 is 0. It is very interesting what is the derivative of cos t? The derivative of cos t is minus sin t, but already minus is there. So, what is the derivative of minus cos t? Yes, you are correct that is sin t. So, this is plus sin t. So, we get a sin t, am I correct? But the sin theta is 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. So, sin t also in terms of t by 2 we have to express. So, that means this we can write a times 2 sin t by 2 cos t by 2. This is 2 sin t by 2 cos t by 2. So, this equals to 
टू ए साइन टी बाई टू एंड कॉस टी बाई टू सो दिस प्रॉब्लम इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर इवन कॉम्पिटेटिव एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो इन द कॉम्पिटेटिव एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन द मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस टेंजेंट एंड नॉर्मल विल बी ऑस्कड ऑन टू फाइंड लेंथ ऑफ द टेंजेंट लेंथ ऑफ द नॉर्मल एंड लेंथ ऑफ द सब टेंजेंट एंड सब नॉर्मल सो दैट्स वाई यू कैन इवन रिकलेक्ट दिस फार्मूले विच विल बी यूजफुल टू यूर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो सो नाउ डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू डी वाई बाई डी टी डिवाइडेड बाई डी एक्स बाई डी टी और वो वा डी एक्स बाई डी टी सो डी वाई बाई डी टी इज हाउ मच दिस वन टू ए साइन टी बाई टू कॉस टी बाई टू अपॉन आर डिवाइडेड बाई दिस इज टू ए का स्क्वायर टी बाई टू सो नाउ द सिंप्लीफिकेशन हैज टू बी फॉर फॉर्म लिया सो कास्ट टी बाई टू यह स्क्वायर कैंसल या टू ए टू ए गेट्स कैंसल साइन टी बाई टू बाई कास्ट टी बाई टू दैट इज नथिंग बट टैन ऑफ टी बाई टू चेक यूर सिंप्लीफिकेशन सो नाउ दिस इज कंसिडर एज स्लोप ऑफ द टेंजेंट so that means slope of the tangent equals to m dy by dx in terms of t at t parameter t that is nothing but tan t by 2 so now easily we can find out all the values length of the tangent normal subtangent subnormal so length of the tangent so length of the tangent is given by the formula modulus of y1 under root of 1 plus m square by m so now here we get little bit of confusion what does stand for y1 here don't worry so y1 is a of 1 minus cos t that's all so already m is nothing but tan of t by 2 always in this case you remember this is the y1 value so now we have to simplify this one now let us substitute the values of y1 and m in order to get the length of the tangent so now this equals to mod of y1 stands for a of 1 minus cos t this is very very important root over 1 plus m square m square means m is equal to tan of t by 2 that is tan square of t by 2 so tan square t by 2 upon m m is nothing but tan t by 2 so let it be simplified see so as to simplify this one just we have to recall the 1 plus tan square theta formula what is 1 plus tan square theta nothing but secant square theta so now 1 plus tan square theta is one of the trigonometric identities that is equal to secant square theta. Am I correct? And 1 minus cos t with the help of uh, some multiple concept that can be changed as 2 sin square t by 2. So that is we can write now 2a sin square t by 2 root of secant square t by 2 upon tan t by 2 ok now so now this can be simplified 2a sin square t by 2 into 
root of secant square t by 2 is secant t by 2 and whereas this is nothing but 1 by tan t by 2 is cot t by 2. So, let us simplify further. So, this equal to 2a sin square t by 2 into 1 by cos t by 2 cos t by 2 cot t by 2 is cos t by 2 over sin t by 2. Now, cos t by 2 cos t by 2 gets cancelled and sin of t by 2 sin of t by 2 this equal to mod of 2a sin t by 2 this is the length of the tangent. Now, let us find out length of the normal length of the normal length of the normal length of the normal is given by the formula modulus of y1 root over 1 plus m square we know that m is tan of t by 2 y1 is a of 1 minus cos t let it be substituted a into 1 minus cos t root over 1 plus tan square t by 2. Since 1 plus tan square theta is secant square theta, 1 plus tan square of t by 2 is replaced by secant square t by 2. Am I correct now? So, here 1 minus cos t is 2 sin square t by 2. This is 2a sin square t by 2 into this will be root over secant square t by 2. So, this equals to now we can write modulus of 2a sin square t by 2 into root over secant square t by 2. What does it stand for? Yes, you are correct that value is equal to secant t by 2. Let us change secant t by 2 in terms of cos. So, this we can write 2a sin square t by 2 into 1 by cos t by 2. This is 2a sin t by 2 multiplied with the sin t by 2 by cos t by 2 we can write. So, what does sin theta by cos theta stand for? That is nothing but tan theta. So, what is the value of sin of t by 2 by cos of t by 2? That is tan of t by 2. So, this equals to modulus of 2a sin t by 2 tan t by 2 this is the length of the normal let us find out length of the subtangent so length of the length of the subtangent Okay. We need to recall the formula equals to mod of y1 by m. So, we are familiar with uh, y1 and m values directly we go for the values only here yeah? equals to a times 1 minus cos t upon m stands for tan of t by 2 already we have calculated. So, tan t by 2. 
so let it be simplified now so 1 minus cos t is 2 sin square t by 2 so that we can write 2a sin square t by 2 you can check the calculations also 1 by tan is cot so cot t by 2 so let us think the can we simplify further yes why not we can simplify further also so now 2a sin square t by 2 into cot t by 2 can be written in terms of cosine function and sine function. So, we can write cos t by 2 by sin t by 2. See, it is very interesting here. Sin t by 2 and square cancel we have 2a sin t by 2 cos t by 2. If you wish further you can simplify because 2 sin t by 2 cos t by 2 is nothing but sin t because 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 is equivalent to sin theta. Am I, am I correct? Yes. So, this we can write a times sin t. This is the length of the subtangent. So, let us find out the last one that is the length of the subnormal. Okay. So, length of the subnormal. Length of the subnormal. What is the formula for length of the subnormal? How do you calculate it? Yes, that is correct. Y1 multiplied by m, where m is the slope of the tangent. So, let us substitute the values, respective values. A 1 minus cos t, m is tan t by 2. So, let it be simplified as it is possible. See, this we can write uh, directly, I am writing 2a sin square t by 2, am I correct? Express tan t by 2 in terms of sin function and cos function. So, we can write the sin t by 2 by cos t by 2. So, this equal to this we can write like this. So, length of the subnormal equals to modulus of 2a sin square t by 2 into sin t by 2 sin cube t by 2 into 1 by cos t by 2. What is the reciprocal of cos t by 2? Is nothing but secant function. So, 1 by cos t by 2 can be written secant t by 2. So, this equal to 2a sin cube t by 2 into secant t by 2. So, in this way, we can find out the length of the tangent, length of the normal, subtangent and subnormal. You might have followed because this formula is purely based on formulae. So, that means you need to remember formula better so as to do this problem. So, without making any calculation errors, am I correct? And it is also very useful for the competitive entrance examination. I hope you might have followed well.